What's going on, people? <laughs> um, how are y'all? Today is um, October 11th, 2011. Um, it is National Coming Out Day. So in light of that and um, the It Gets Better campaign, um, I just want to make an inspirational video that can, um, that hopefully someone can relate to. Um, my name is Portia. Um, I'm a proud member <laughs> of Theta Zi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, um, which is a Greek organization, um, for sophisticated, dominant lesbian women. <laughs> Um, in the land of Theta, uh, I'm known as Bra Ambition. I'm a Neo. Um, I'm the first number four, the first number four in the organization. And um, let me start off by giving like uh, my coming out story. Um, okay, so I came out, and don't be trying to do my the math for my birthday, you know all of that. <laughs> um, I came out. Um, 2001, let's say 2001, 2002, somewhere in there. Um, came out to my friends first, and at first I felt better because I've always been a tomboy, always dressed in baggy jeans and polo shirts, fitty hats, Timberlands, all of that. Um, I didn't feel comfortable and I don't like the gender, the gender, um, identities with clothes and stuff, but I didn't feel comfortable in women's clothes. Um, eventually I started working, started buying my own fitted hats, my own jeans, my own shirts and all of that. Um... A lot of people stopped talking to me. Um, a lot of my my um, female friends that I grew up with, I'm talking grew up with, like we babies, like they disowned me, stopped talking to me because they felt like I was going to try to talk to them or turn them out or whatever. Um, and that's one thing, that's one misconception that I wish that heterosexuals would get through their head. All gay people don't just want to have sex with any and everybody. The second misconception is that being homosexual is all about sex. Stop it. It's not. So what? We just so happen to be two people of the same sex who are in a relationship or whatever the arrangement is at the time. Y'all know. <laughs> so, anyway. I tried to explain that to them. They didn't work. To this day, some of us still aren't friends. Um, I was hurt. I was really hurt. Cause like I said, this is people I came up with babies, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, okay, so nothing's changed. Like I said, I've always dressed in baggy clothes. Now that I'm putting a title to it, now that I'm coming to you saying, hey, I'm a lesbian. All of a sudden, it's, oh, stay away from me, you know, not answering my phone calls, not trying to hang out with me, you know, not trying to sit with me at lunch, little petty stuff like that. So, I say I have, like, a handful of friends left, you know what I mean? And, um, had to start getting to know people all over again. Because then I started meeting other gay people. And it was like, okay, 
I'm meeting other people who understand me and what I'm going through. Okay. So, um, it was cool for a while. Because we could relate to each other. Um, fast forward, maybe two years later, my mom finds out. <laughs> and I didn't tell her, which I think made the situation worse. Um, one of my neighbors told her, because they saw me kiss um, my girlfriend at the time. And she went into Bible scriptures and... Oh, I had two daughters, not a son and a daughter. If you're going to be a lesbian um, and you're going to dress like a man, like, are you trying to be a transgender? Like, there's a way to be a feminine lesbian. Just like, oh, my God. Like, it, it, it was it was just like, you know, I, I can't explain this to you right now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm comfortable like this. This is me. You know what I mean? She was threatening to tell my family to disown me. All kinds of stuff. Like, we didn't spend the holidays together for years because things always went back to my sexuality. And it was just like, all right, mom, I'm tired of talking about this. After a while, the older I got, I started thinking, is it going to get better? Like, I'm not even spending the holidays with my family. Like, and that's one thing that we're huge on. Like, it, it was just to the point where it was like, okay, all I have is myself. So, when it came time to, to start looking into colleges and stuff like that, one thing that I was looking for in a school was did they have a gay straight alliance or some kind of rainbow club with welcomed people in the LGBT community? So, I found a few schools. Due to some other things, I didn't end up going to college right then. But I started finding out more things about, like, pride and um, meeting other gay teenagers. And hearing stuff about, you know, the Gay and Lesbian Center. I'm from Baltimore, so um, there's one there. For anybody who was wondering if they had resources, there is a, um, a Gay and Lesbian Center in Baltimore. Um... It's near um, the Meyerhoff down there in that Mount Vernon um, cultural district area. Um, so just different things. And I started meeting other people who were like very known in the gay community of Baltimore. So then I started getting more involved in stuff. Started going to Pride. Started um, finding out about, you know, the gay parades and stuff and um started hearing about gay houses that's a whole nother video i don't even want to get into right now um just other outlets besides just going to the club so um i started feeling better about it cut my hair <laughs> um i used to have hair i cut my hair and i just started becoming more involved and more comfortable within myself. Um, I did notice that as I was getting older, going, being in public as a dominant female, butch, dom, stud, whatever you want to call yourself, it can be very dangerous. And there's a lot of ignorance towards us. And there's a lot of closed-minded people. It was to the point where I was scared to use the bathroom in public. I would do stuff like, if I was at a public place, I would try to wait until the bathroom was cleared out. Or until I could like dart in real quick, run to the store use the bathroom real quick and wash my hands fast enough for nobody to see that I was in there. Or I'd hold it till I got home, which is unhealthy. Um, I've been in situations where I've been in the bathroom 
use the bathroom, wash my hands and everything. Right now, you can't tell. My chest is a 38D. And I don't wear huge shirts. So, I've been there washing my hands, minding my business. A chick comes in. She's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Um, Did you know this was the ladies' room? I'll wait for you to finish. Um, I'm sorry. Just go ahead. And I'm like, I'm a woman. I've had to lift my shirt up before just so people would believe me. I had to show my ID before and everything. So, it does get better. At this point in my life, I live for me. I don't care what nobody else says about me. I'm happy in my skin. You know what I mean? I've been called every gay slur that I could possibly think of at some point in my life. I got through it because I keep a strong mind. I keep strong people behind me. I have a very, very, very strong support system. My, me and my mom are good now. Took a while though. It does get better. I'm, I'm living proof of that. You got to use your resources. Get involved in your community. There's a gay and lesbian center in just about every major city in the world. Not just the country, the world. Their support systems. Online groups. My my org. They design theta fraternity incorporated. We mentor youth. We have a chance program. If you just need someone to talk to, there's plenty of us. You have to use your resources. Eventually, we have to all come together. We have to. Because these suicides and bullying and it, it's heartbreaking. It does get better. But you have to realize is that people hate what they don't understand. People don't want to take the time to understand that being gay or lesbian or transgender, we exist. All they see and all they think about is the sexual aspect of it. It's way beyond that. It's way beyond that. You can't let that deter you. Be strong. They say something, Say they say a gay joke or something to you, fire some information back. You don't have to stoop to their level. Tell them something they didn't know about being gay or lesbian or transgender or or anything to just hey so I'm gay peep this though but do you know the percentage of closeted bisexuals that there are in the world your best friend could be a bisexual they'll think about that they'll think about it cuz I gagged when I found out the percentage of, of closeted bisexual and undercover gay men in the United States. It's information that you should really look up. Everyone should know this stuff because just just in just for safe sex practices and just to know what's going on in your community. Use your resources. When I say keep a strong support system behind you, not just your family, not just your friends. It 
It could be somebody you least expect. Get a mentor. You, no one's ever too old to have a mentor. Somebody you know, or you could run into somebody who's been in the exact same situation as you and pulled through. It gets better. It does. We have to start educating the world about homosexuality and transgenders. We can't just keep the information amongst us because others don't understand it because they don't have to live like we live. It gets better. If you ever need someone to talk to, my brother and I, we're here. You can definitely shoot us an email at theta xi theta, t h e t a x i t h e t a at gmail dot com. Um, chance t x t c h a n c e t x t at gmail dot com. Check out our website. Um. My email address is B R U H period like a period A M B I T I O N that's bruh ambition at gmail dot com. I'm here. I've been there. Sometimes I didn't even know whether I was coming or going. Believe me, it gets better. It does. It gets better. I don't want to see any more of our youth die at their own hands. It's sad. Wake up, y'all. Really wake up and see what's happening. Everyone deserves a chance in life. Who are you to tell me that my sexuality or the fact that I love women is wrong? So is smoking cigarettes. So is drinking alcohol. So is tattoos. So is piercings. So is adultery. So is murder. So is rape. I just so happen to be a woman who loves women. It gets better. It does. Believe me when I tell you, it gets better. Use your resources. Stay strong minded. Do research. Get involved in your community. Always stay positive. It gets better. And it will get better. That's what orgs like Theta Zot Theta are here for to make sure that it gets better. We can't do it by ourselves. I can't do it by myself. You can't do it by yourself. We all need to stick together. But, um, again, I will put all the information that I gave on this video somewhere at the bottom or somewhere. It'll come across the screen or something. It'll be there for you. Feel free to comment. Um, again, check out my brothers and I. Um, theta Zot Theta dot com. T H E T A. Sorry, T H E T A X I 
T H E T A dot com. It gets better. Just say that to yourself over and over again. It gets better. When you wake up in the morning, look yourself in the face in the mirror and say, It gets better and it will get better. Someone say something to you, just being ignorant. Just look at them and say it gets better. They won't. They probably know, but then they probably won't know. They'll probably think, what are they talking about? Just say it gets better. Because honestly, the problem is not you. The problem is them. So, it will get better. It will. But, um, again, my name is Portia. Um known as Ambition in the land of Theta, um, representing Theta Zi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. And um, it gets better, all right? <laughs> it will get better, all right?